have you guys ever had somebody do something for you completely out of the blue, but like was so thoughtful and so kind that it just, it like, it made your brain go dead for a little bit, that you were like confused about it. This happened to me a couple weeks ago and I've been meaning to tell you guys this story, so here it goes. If many of you guys saw that I did a video with a blogger, um, Friday We Are In Love, a couple weeks ago and we did a random acts of kindness date and it was so much fun. We like planned all these things where we we put like money and popcorn on red boxes and we gave cold water bottles to um, Pokemon hunters. It was just, it was really fun and it was kind of a hectic night. So I didn't quite get to, get to sit and just relish the joy and the love that comes from giving, pe giving to people um, out of nowhere. So that day was really fun and it was interesting just because random acts of kindness were on my mind already when this happened. So one afternoon, I was in the middle of packing the kids were probably being wild and running around and there was boxes everywhere, but we were running low on boxes um, for, you know, to pack our house up to move. So I'm just like in my house and I get a knock on the door and so I go answer the door and it's one of Zach's longtime friends um, and, the, and I'm actually gonna use her name, Erin Tenney is her name. That's right, sorry, I was just checking to make sure it was right. But yeah, her name is Erin Tenney and I know she's probably gonna die if she ever sees this video that I shared this with you guys, but it was so sweet. I mean, I think she's like six months pregnant or something or more, um, and she had a couple kids, but she, I don't even know what made her think of this. She thought, you know what? I'm pretty sure the Bruffs are in the middle of packing and I just know how that is and you're, you're, you never have enough boxes, and but you never have time to go get boxes. So she went to, I guess, Down East Basics in the neighborhood. Um, she knew they always had boxes laying around. So she went to the back of Down East Basics, dumpster dived for a bunch of boxes for us, loaded them into her car with like maybe one or two children that were with her, and she brought them to my house and dropped them off at my house. I and like she called me. Well, she had called Zach, and then Zach gave her my number. So she called me and she's like, "Hey." I got, I just grabbed a bunch of boxes and I'm gonna come drop them off at your house. So I was like, oh, okay, uh, sure, yeah, that sounds, we're here, that's fine, sounds good. I was kind of confused and so she comes over and she's dropping these boxes off and I'm just like astounded. I mean, I'm just bewildered at this girl who, she, I mean, I met her maybe like three or four times in passing like at choir concerts or at the grocery store. Um, and I know that she knows Zach really, really well, but it was just so wild to me that she would take the time out of her day to think of me and my situation, load up kids in the car, go dumpster dive, and she's pregnant, like, when I'm not pregnant, I'm not thinking of anyone but myself. <laughs> and she brings these boxes to me, and they were really helpful. They totally helped. And anyway, this random, this small random act of kindness that she took the time to do to serve me I mean, it was so wonderful. It just made my day, it made my week, and it filled my heart and my home with love. And with the world right now, and how much hatred, and you know, all the politics that are happening, and the bashing, um, everything with the police, it's just, it, it makes my heart sad. And so when things like this happen, and someone does an, a totally selfless, kind act for someone who they barely know, it just really, gives me hope in the world. And um, I, my, my, my thoughts are a little all over the place, but what I'm saying is when you think you deserve to sit down and take a rest, or when you think you deserve to, to be lazy or to not think of others and be selfish, um, maybe one of those times out of 10, take a moment, turn that around, and look around you and, and pick someone to just serve. Whether it's a planned thing, whether it's so random, like you know, paying for someone's fast food behind you in line, or asking someone if their kids want to go to the park with you and your kids because you're going anyway. Or even a small, I don't know, what's a small thing? Maybe just going and knocking on someone's door to say hi because you know they're home alone. Maybe there's an old lady on your street that would love a visitor. Um, I don't know, whatever it is, take a moment, think outside yourself, think outside your circle. I hope that for me, I can be that much more aware of the people around me to serve so that my kids can see that and learn that. I know I learned that from my parents. My mom and dad 
have served, and so have Zach's parents. They serve people all the time. They just, they just get it as far as service goes. Anyway, I keep rambling on. This is a challenge to all of you this week. It's Monday. We're starting fresh. For a lot of us, it's first days of school, like school is starting and we think that we have the most hectic life out there. I promise if we can all take two seconds to look around and think of others' needs and try and help, it will make our lives feel so much less hectic and that much more bright. That's all I'm gonna say about this. Thank you again, Aaron Tenney, for your love and service. And I hope I can be like you when I grow up. <laughs> We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So some of the things that I'm excited for, um, at least, I don't know, not really pregnancy related. I'm just really excited to be in Utah, mostly because they have really great seasons here. Like, summer is actually